Thank you so much for joining me today on the Valder okay. Beauty Show. Well, thanks Great. for having us. Well, we're live in Dallas, Texas, and we wanted to talk food. You know we're in Texas. We love food in Texas. That, that's great. <laughs> well, I've got farm mom, Katie Pratt, and Chris Chen, and they're going to talk food facts of parents packing lunches uh, going back to school. Ladies, first of all, if you can tell me, Katie, tell me, what, what is a farm mom? What's a farm mom? Well, a farm mom is just a mom who is living on a farm, really. Um, we... Uh, we are seventh generation farmers up in Illinois, and we've got two little ones at home. Um, Chris is a fifth generation farmer from Missouri, and she's got two older ones at home. And when it comes to packing school lunches and preparing after school snacks, Chris really involves her kids in that process. So what we do in our house is we talk about what the kids want to eat that week in their lunch because I was seeing a lot of the food I was sending coming back home each day. And so we make out our food list, we go to the grocery store, I send my daughter over to the produce aisle, and I let her pick out the fruits and the vegetables that she wants to eat that week. And then we go through the store and we talk about what the food labels mean to us as a family and what's important to us. And for our family, it's the nutritional value on the label that's important to us. When we get home, we talk about the families that worked hard to produce that food for us right here in America, and we prepare that food together. Um, we get it ready for the next week so that in the mornings we can just grab it out of the uh, refrigerator, get it in that lunchbox, and start our day on time, hopefully. Well, ladies, that's great, but, you know, I'm going to tell you, we already know that. We, as, as moms, we already know that. I wanted to talk with you guys because I wanted you to tell me something different. Americans throw away 50% of the food that we buy from you guys. Can you, can you help us with that and sending lunches to school so they don't come back? Right. Well, involving your kids in that food decision-making process so that they have a choice of what goes in their lunchbox hopefully will help with not having that food come home. I know for my younger, my younger kids, I give them an option. Um, they don't have the option to say no to a vegetable, but I will give them an option of what vegetable they would like to take in their lunch for that day. So um, it really also then gives you an educational opportunity to talk about where food comes from, from farms and family farms. 95% of the farms in the United States are family owned and operated. Um, so it, it's really an educational process. It, it's a great family activity as well. And it all centers around this thing called food that we all really enjoy. That's really important. Now, as you guys are U.S. farmers and ranchers, do, do you guys have any, do the kids eat food from your farms and ranches? On our farm, we raise uh, pork and beef, and so everything that's found in our freezer came directly from our farm. We also sell some of our beef and pork locally to our friends and neighbors in our community as well as to consumers. So our kids take great pride in knowing that they helped raise that hog or they helped raise that cow that is feeding our family. And they love to share it with their friends when they come over as well. Talking about lunches and, 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 and living on a farm, taking all of that, do you think your kids are going to be next generation farmers or will they have that respect for the land or will they go on and have traditional careers? Well, for our family, my son's already dreaming of the day that he doesn't have to get up and go to school every day. He wants to spend his days helping his dad on the farm already. Um, he's very helpful to us. He's already learning what it takes to care for the land and the livestock. So we're looking forward to both of our children coming back home if that's what they choose. Exactly, and that, that goes the same for us as well. We certainly, we are farming with the future in mind, so the decisions we make hopefully will make our farm sustainable if our kids want to come back. But if they choose to go in other directions, that's certainly, they'll have the support of their parents. When is there a place online that you want to send the listening audience? Because maybe some people haven't sent their kids to school with lunches. Uh, I was a, My kids I are no longer home, but I got them to bring lunches because I could kind of control what they ate. So is there a place online you guys want to send the listening audience? Well, certainly you can visit fooddialogues.com to start kind of the process of learning about food and food terminology, labels, food production methods, things like that. That's fooddialogues.com. Also, you'll find on there are some great videos um, from a variety of different types of farms. And so if you're not able to visit a farm to learn about your food, you can certainly do that online on websites and also seek out farmers on Twitter and Facebook, social media. We're out there. Well, American Farmer is a vanishing breed, and this is my last question. What can we do to support you guys? Because 
you guys are the fabric of our nation. You're the fabric of this planet. Well, I think a great thing people can do to support us is to help us share our family farm stories. Visit our, our blogs and our websites. Share the information that you're learning there. Help people understand that farmers care about their land and their livestock and that no matter how a farmer farms, it, does, it means that they are doing it what works best for their family and for their farm and to preserve that farm for the next generation. Well, Farm Moms, Katie Pratt and Chris Chin, thank you so much for talking about food and talking about lunches and talking about the American Family Farm. We really appreciate it on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you.